So for the graph here, let's find an Eulerization. So the idea behind Eulerization is that right now this graph does not have an Euler circuit. Why? It doesn't have an Euler circuit because there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different vertices, all that have odd degree. And so there's no way that we can do an Euler circuit on this graph, right? There's no way we can walk this graph without backtracking. And so to address that, because, you know, if let's say we were actually planning a route on this graph, we'd have to backtrack, now we know. Uh, we want to sort of figure out how to do that in the best way possible. And so what we're going to do is Eulerize the graph. That means we're going to duplicate edges, uh, until it, it, until it will have an Euler circuit on it. Now we're going to duplicate edges, uh, like this, to indicate that I'm going to walk this edge twice. I'm going to walk it once this way and then probably once the other way. We don't want to create new edges, so we don't want to do stuff like this. Think about what this would mean in terms of like city streets. This would mean creating a new street between these two, these two intersections and that doesn't really make any sense. It makes sense though to walk an edge twice, uh, right, to walk along the street twice. And so in order to, for this to become Eulerized, in order for it to have an Euler circuit, each vertice is going to have to have even degree. Right now, this vertex has degree 3, which is odd. But if I were to add a duplicated edge here, now it has degree 4, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Likewise, this one now has degree 4. This one has degree 4, this one has degree 4. Now I just need these two to both have degree 4, and there's no direct way to connect them. So our only option is to make hops, like that. So notice now this edge has degree 1, 2, 3, 4. This vertex, which previously had degree 4, now has degree 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's still even, so that's okay, right? And this vertex has degree 6, this one has degree 4. Now this, this graph is Eulerized. Now we can find an Euler circuit on this graph with the added or duplicated edges. Now it's important to notice here that this is not the only Eulerization that we could have done. We also could have duplicated, say, this edge and this edge and this edge and this edge and these two, that edge. And uh, this would have also created an Eulerization. Uh, this one turns out to be the same number of duplications as our previous one. But if we had instead done something like this, this is more duplicated edges. In general, we want to do we want to minimize the number of duplications we have in our graph because each of those duplications means that we're walking along an edge twice and generally that's not a good thing. So let's look at another graph. Uh, all the odd degree vertices are highlighted here. Uh, let's see if we can find an Eulerization of this graph. So you may have noticed that the pattern is that we're going to connect vertices with odd degree. And so this vertex here, I can either duplicate here and here or duplicate here and here. And I don't think it really matters, so I'll duplicate here and here. This, both of these verti vertices now have even degree. So now this one's odd and this one's odd. So if I duplicate there, both of those now have even degree. If I duplicate here and here, both of these now have even degree. And duplicating here and here, both of those now have even degree. And so we find that for our lot inspector, if you remember this graph, uh, that in order to walk this entire neighborhood, she would have to backtrack one, two, three, four, five times uh, in order to cover the entire area and get back to her starting point. Now it's not clear whether this is the most efficient Eulerization, but it's certainly an Eulerization that looks pretty good.